So today I am a couple miles south of Keeler. Uh, Keeler itself is northeast of Moose Jaw by about 30 minutes. And I'm hanging out with Sandy of Prairie Berries. That means I get to spend all day stuffing my face with Saskatoon berries. Back in 1993, Prairie Berries started off with just a small 10 acre orchard. Today, things have grown a little. There are only three facilities in all of Canada registered to handle Saskatoon berries, and this is the largest. This is our color sorter, and what it does is it pulls out all the greens and the reds so that we don't have to pull them out on the final grading line. So we use technology as well to help us. So before we put this piece of technology in, the best we could do in terms of handling was 2,000 pounds a day. Now we do 20,000 pounds a day. But technology can only do so much. So Prairie Berries relies on an impressive team to keep the berries moving, and leading that team is Melbourne. Uh, the first thing I do is a plan. I do a plan. I, I try to plan my day. So I try to spread the people. So sometimes I need some people inside and some outside because we have to clean berries, we have to clean the orchard too. The growth of prairie berries can partially be attributed to the growing popularity of Saskatoon berries. These tasty berries are considered a superfruit and contain higher levels of antioxidants than more common blueberries, strawberries and raspberries. Alright, here's your math moment for the day. If the amazing crew with prairie berries can clean and freeze 20,000 pounds of Saskatoon berries in one day, how many days is it going to take them to clean and freeze the 320,000 pounds of Saskatoon berries harvested from this one quarter section? Minus this berry. And this one. And show your work. It's impressive to think just how far Prairie Berries has come, from the original 10 acre orchard to processing 20,000 pounds a day. If your taste buds are interested, you can grab some Prairie Berries goodness here at one of my favorite stores, the Saspeg Marketplace in Saskatoon.